Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to further analyze your SharePoint list data in Excel. What I did in the previous demo is just clicked on the export button here, export to Excel. And what happens there is that I don't actually get an export, but I do get a connection. So and then I simply added a conditional formatting based on this. So it makes it much easier to see how many hours we worked. But of course, I do want to summarize all that and show it in the graph. That's one of the main features of Excel, of course. So to do that, I'm going to go into the table tools and summarize this with a pivot table. And I'm just going to select that range, which by default is called table OWSSR. That's my external table. And then I'm just going to drag and drop the columns, the fields that I want to work with. And of course, I want to count on the hours worked. And that's 4391. I'm going to format that a bit better so that I get a thousand delimiter, but I don't want the decimals in there. And then I'm just going to summarize this by priority, for example, or I'm going to summarize it by issue status. Oh, they're all active, so that was boring. Uh, but let's do assign two. There we go. Of course, I'm going to make a graph based on this too, and that's under Pivot Tools and Pivot Chart. And I can just select any one of these. The Pi graph is always popular, so let's add that. Remove that total there, it doesn't really say much. And then I can make it slightly better looking. Here under Design, I can just uh, do maybe this one looks cool. Yeah. It's almost right. I can move that one over in there so I can actually read my own name. All right, so that is a graph that I'm very happy with. And of course, whenever I change something in this, so if I assign more tasks to myself by going into edit mode here, and let's just take some of Anna's work and put that to me. There we go. I'm just going to fill that down now. So now I re reassigned all those tasks from her to me. And now when I go back into Excel, and now they're all similar, but if I go in here under Analyze and refresh this table, refresh all, you'll notice that my piece of the pie here has grown while Anna's has uh, decreased. And of course the numbers follow along too. So that concludes my demo on how to make a graph that's connected to a SharePoint list. In the next demonstration, I'll display this view on a landing page in my SharePoint site. Thank you for watching this demonstration.